Cursing, and this is class number two, based on my book, Listen to Your Quilt. In today's class, we're going to do step number one. This is a four-step process. It's very simple, and anyone can do it. Again, it doesn't matter whether you're a long-arm quilter or you use a domestic machine, even a hand quilter. The idea is to choose the best quilting for your quilt. When I would have customers come and see me to bring me a quilt, I would often think to myself, what is the category of that quilt? The reason I would ask myself that is to get myself thinking about what my quilting choices are going to be. This is a very linear process. You want to eliminate everything that isn't going to be good for your quilt. So we've created, I've created, four categories. There are many more categories for quilts, but the idea is to just help to get you thinking in the right direction. So for my first step, the categories are children's quilts, traditional quilts, contemporary quilts, and art quilts. Now in art quilts, I've also included wall quilts, quilts that you may have made for a show, these are quilts that are going to be viewed oftentimes on a wall, and I've given them their own category. They may be made with many different types of techniques. We're really just trying to think about what it is when we first look at the quilt, what it is that we think. Listen to your gut. It's not supposed to be difficult. And again, the idea is that this is only step number one, and we're going to move along until finally you are going to be able to listen to your quilt and choose the best quilting for your quilt. So category number one, children's quilts. Most people immediately will recognize a children's quilt. The fabrics in these quilts have kids motifs, they're bright, they're fun. This is an example of a children's quilt. If you've made a quilt for a child, if you're the quilt maker, you may already know what your category is. Fun, bright, easy, this is a children's quilt. A traditional quilt. This is an example of a traditional quilt. The quilt, the fabrics, tan and cream. Many times the cue that you're gonna use is the fabrics that were used in the quilt. These fabrics will probably be the same fabrics that your mother or your grandmother would have used. It's a very traditional pattern, but it's also made with traditional fabrics. This quilt is a contemporary quilt. You'll notice the exact same pattern, but the fabrics are what make you feel that this quilt is more contemporary. The fabrics were probably made more recently. That doesn't necessarily make it contemporary because you can get traditional fabrics now that are made recently, but the fabrics don't look traditional. Probably not a quilt that my mother or my grandmother would have made. This is a contemporary quilt. And the last category, art quilt. This quilt's gonna be on a wall, possibly go to a show. The techniques are unusual many times. You can, but they don't have to be. It's the use of this quilt. It's gonna be on a wall. The design leads me to believe this is an art quilt. Remember, this is only step number one. And the reason we're choosing a category is so that we can learn to listen to our quilt. Choose the best quilting for your quilt. I hope you'll follow along as we go to step two, three, and four. If you'd like more information, you can visit my website, barbaraperson.com, and I hope to see you in class number three. Thank you.